Welcome back, guys. This is Tough Choice. I am your host, Kazim Rahman. On the hot seat today, this is his first time in Ignorant Studios. I've never been out of the village before. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, Jay Light. How you doing, Jay? I'm good. I'm uh, I'm drinking this energy drink you gave me, and I'm How do you like starting it? to feel it. It does taste really good. It's really good, and it's not that crazy... Um, caffeine wise, mm-hmm. where it's like other people were like, like, have you had C4 before? No, I've never had C4. Don't drink it. I've Let's had- just put it that way. I drank, <laughs> I drank a fourth of a bottle and my skin just started like, like itching. Yeah. It was weird. That happens to me when I've drank bang before. Yeah. We were talking about bang before the show. I don't show. like bang. bang. Shout out to bang. Listen, much. bang, you can support this podcast, but right now we don't like your drink that much. Mm-mm. It's too much. No. It's way too much. I felt I drank it when I was on a long road trip one time. Yeah. And I could immediately tell it was too much caffeine for yeah. driving alone in a car. Like yeah. I can see why people might do it before like pre-workout or whatever. Yeah. But when you're just sitting in a car, I was getting the tingles on the back of my neck. I was just feeling too yeah. amped and tense. Weird. It's weird. Are you good, by the way? Are you too hot? Do you want me to put the fan no, I'm good. on you? All right. I got shorts. Cool. I'm wearing, I'm, we're both wearing shorts today. Yes, we are. Jay, are you ready for this? So ready. Guys, you know how we do here. We don't really waste any time. The game is tough choice. You must pick between the two choices. You must explain yourself. You get one pass. You get one pause. And at the end, of course, we have our final choice. I forgot to talk to you about final choice. <laughs> Let it begin. Let it begin. Final choice is uh, a Mary fuck kill with two random people and Beyonce. Okay. Okay, so now we have our constant choice. <laughs> constant. Everyone in the... We have a lot of sound effects. I had no everyone, idea. Everyone in Got the such month, morning radio DJ in it. Yes, I you. know. I know. Listen, I had a Celsius before you got here. <laughs> everyone in the month gets the first, the same first question. Mm-hmm. So, Jay Light, would you rather always feel like you didn't sleep the night before or... Be unable to remember anyone's name. Oh, I think I would go with gut instinct to not being able to remember anyone's names. Really? Yeah. Because I could explain that at least. Like I could just say I've got, listen, I've got memory problems. But you have a, you have a job where you have to like be in front of people. Yeah. So how are you going to manage that? Well, I can, first of all, if I'm on stage, I never have to know anyone's name anyway. No, of course not. I, yeah. All I have to do is literally, oh God, here's, here's a question for you. Yes. So if I am say bringing somebody on stage, yeah. if I li- if, remember, if I look at their name right if beforehand. Re- read their name is fine. Okay. But if you're trying to take it from memory, no. Okay. So if you're on stage and you need a host and you're hosting or you're just, it's a showcase show. Right, we're talking about stand-up comedy, guys. Yes. If it's a showcase show, you would have to have their name in front of you yeah. and read it, but you won't remember their name. Yeah, that's fine. I don't need to remember that's people's fine. names. But I, what can, about I can get a, by so much of my life just uh, saying, hey, bud. Hey, guy. I, I, said that, <laughs> that, I said that yesterday when we were recording, and I don't... I, part of me feels like I could figure it out, but another part of me feels like there's like... A simple relate mom and dad is fine. Yeah. Because they're mom and dad. Yeah. yeah I don't yeah. even need to know you the know I didn't names. know my mom's first name until I was like in fifth grade. Like I was like, who's my this mom lady? gets mad if I call her by her first name. Exactly. Right. She got but, so pissed off at me one time. Yeah. When I was a kid, she had I was I went and slept over at a friend of mine's house and they had uh I think he had a stepmom and he called the stepmom by the first name and then yeah. I got home and I was like, I'm gonna call my mom Denise. <laughs> and she <laughs> flipped out. Listen, mothers from the south. They don't play that. Mm-mm. They really don't play that. They do not play that. Yeah. That is such Maybe disrespect. in like Portland, maybe, but not in Texas. Mm-mm. But mom and dad are fine. Right. It's mom and dad. But you're going to have kids one day. You're going to have a wife one day. How, how are you going to figure that out? Um, Especially if you have multiple kids. If you have one kid, that's fine. Son, get over here. Yeah. It's it's simple. Well, what I got to do then is just write a chalkboard because this is a condition that's easily explainable. It is. I can write, I can have a chalkboard up with like, as soon as somebody comes into my house, their name goes on the chalkboard. Okay. And I can erase it as soon as they leave. I mean, the only fucked up thing that would happen is if I forget who leaves, if I forget their name and I erase the wrong person's name. You know, no, you know faces. But I don't remember names. You just don't remember names. Okay, yeah. You this, know people. This is easy. You know people. This but is you're so not even, easy. Okay, you're not even going to consider the feeling of not having enough sleep. 
I, cause I know that feeling and yeah. I hate that feeling. That, we, 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 that feeling is very familiar. That feeling is so familiar. An adult. Yes. I've been, I, I but since it's so familiar, sh- couldn't you be able to handle that? I could handle that, but that doesn't mean I like it. Mm. I would much rather okay. live my life in a way where I'm like, I've engineered a system to deal with the fact that I don't remember anyone's names than have to constantly be you know, a step or two behind because I don't feel like I slept the night before. Okay. Cause that's something you never fully get over even no matter how much caffeine yeah. or medication you pump into yourself to yeah. deal with the feeling of not having slept the night before it never yeah. works. You always just feel propped up. My dumb ass. There's medic. I lit up when you're like, there's medication for this. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I did not know. I literally what? prescribed a medication to help me regulate my sleep cycle huh. because when I first started working writing jobs. I was also working at the comedy store still. Yeah. So my hours were completely off charts. Yeah. Like yeah. I would, you know, I'd be up at the store working until like two in the morning. I get home at three, I'm in bed by four, but I'm also working a writing job where then I have, you to, have like, to get to work at nine. Exactly. Or yeah. earlier sometimes if it's a production day. So I have, a, I'm, I'm prescribed a medication that helped me, especially when I was first doing it to regulate my sleep. Um, and make sure that I was awake when I needed to be awake and asleep when I needed to be asleep. Uh Um, but now I still take it and I basically just take it for when I have, uh, the shift in schedule from like pre-production to production schedule. Oh, okay. Damn. Yeah. I didn't know all that. It's great, man. Okay. It's, uh, yeah, dude, sleep disorders are crazy, but yeah. If you know, if you know which one to talk about when yes. you go to your doctor, you can probably get, you can probably get the hookup. Huh? That's good to know. Yeah. Would you rather, all right, be replaced in your friend group by a porpoise masquerading as you or, or hear me out, give birth to an evil alien who will cause the downfall of humanity? Oh my God. This is tough. How is this tough? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. You realize I just said the downfall of humanity. Right. But there's the giving birth part. Yeah. I don't want to give birth. Where am I giving then birth don't, from? Then just be replaced in your friend group. Where am I giving birth from? Which hole? I don't know. I didn't think that far when I wrote the question. I'm you should have thought further out. This was a, you're getting a C-section. How about that? Okay. C-section. Okay. Yeah, that's easy. You All right. A, I'm wait, going time with, out. I'm going, going with, with the, I'm going with the porpoise. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You'll be replaced. I'll be replaced. I'll be replaced too, only because the downfall of humanity is a little too much. I don't want to be the cause of that. It's really intense. I don't want to be the cause. You know, the sad part, there is a question somewhere in the stacks that I have of questions where it's like, have a son that becomes a terrorist. And I'm perfectly fine with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the other option. But I don't want to. But if it says have a son that causes the downfall of humanity, I wouldn't want to do that. That's heavy, man. That's heavy. I mean, I was coming. The C-section is probably the most acceptable way that I would allow that to happen. Yes. But even with that, it's still too much. Yeah. I can't have. Listen, I can deal with a. a, a, Honestly, I would be impressed if a porpoise managed to be able to. You to be me masquerading as me. That's convincing. That's cool. Also, how stupid are my friends Mm -hmm. that you can't tell that's not me. Did I want to be friends with those people anyway? No. They can tell that that's not me. Then I need new friends. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll be fine. As long as the porpoise doesn't follow me around and keep fucking up my future friend groups. No. Cool. Each or one time. So you're good. That's fine. I can handle a one time loss of friendship. Okay. Would you rather have to swallow 15 raw eggs or have a fight to the death with five members of Sesame Street. Do I get to pick which five members? Listen, can you name? F- I can't name five members. Elmo, Cookie okay. Monster, okay. Super Grover, Big Bird. Super Grover? Yeah, Grover became Super Grover what? a while ago. Yeah. Hold on. He's got a helmet and a cape now. Wait, is he big? No. He's, He's still just- the same size. Oh. I don't think he has any actual I was going to look this up. Okay. And then there's the one that has AIDS. Or Would HIV. You, wait, there's one that has HIV? Yeah. Time out. There's a Sesame Street character with HIV. Dude, there's a Sesame Street character with HIV. There's a Sesame Street character that's autistic. There's one that's homeless. There's I know that. There's a homeless one. Yeah. Yeah. There's. Damn. Uh, yeah. I would pick Sesame Street characters to, all to day. The, to the death. To the death. To the death. To the death. So who would you pick though? Elmo? Um, I can't. Okay. Elmo's I can take easy. Elmo. Elmo's a child. So Cookie Elmo's Monster, the one Cookie who Monster I, is too much. Elmo I go after last. Yeah. Because I feel like if I'm, if I'm in a position where I've beaten and killed five or four other 
Sesame Street characters beforehand. Okay. Okay. And then I have to kill Elmo. Okay. Like he's a child. So yes. I'll already have, I'll be dead in the eyes. Like yes. my brain will. He'll be confused most of the time. Exactly. Yeah. But the first three people, the first three you kill, he's going to be like, what's going on? Yes. But it's yeah. going to be like a situation where he is, he's clearly like rabid or something. Yeah. He's feral. Oh no, this is a fight to the death. They want to kill you. They want to kill me. Yes. But what he, he's going to want to kill me because I have murdered four yeah, of his friends. Yeah, because you killed Cookie Monster. I killed Cookie Monster. Okay. Cookie Monster's easy. I How is Cookie Monster easy? Cookie Monster, you just distract him with a cookie. Oh. And then you, cookie then monster, you murder him. Cookie Monster doesn't just eat cookies anymore. They changed it. He they just eats changed anything. it back. It's so they, annoying. It's stupid. It's so they annoying. They should change it back. I'm perfectly fine as an adult now. And that Cookie Monster was just eating cookies. I didn't think I only want to eat cookies. That was a dumb move on um, Sesame Street part. I tell you who I don't want to go against for sure. I don't want to go against Big Bird. Big okay. Bird. Big Bird's too much. Big yeah. Bird will ruin me. Snuff. Big Bird's taller than everyone. Yeah. Big Bird, okay. Snuffleupagus, absolutely not. What do you mean? Snuffleup- isn't Snuffleupagus the sleepy guy? No, he's uh, he's a fucking mammoth, dude. He's an elephant. Oh. He's not real, technically. He's yeah. he's a dream character, but he's really? he's real. You know, I, he's huge. I don't remember shit about Sesame Street. That yeah, sucks. I, I, my childhood. <laughs> <laughs> I should know this stuff. You should know this stuff. I should know this stuff. Oh, wow. Okay. Oscar the Grouch. Don't want to fight Oscar the Grouch. I he's don't wanna, wily, dude. No, we can't do Oscar the Grouch. He's, yeah. he's too. He's already angry. Right. You can't do the vampire guy. Count von Count. No, he's a, he's still a va- he's a vampire. He is a vampire. He's a vampire. Yeah, that's true. Like, how are you gonna kill him? You can't. Exactly. You have to have a steak. Yeah. Or garlic or something. Garlic doesn't kill them though. Garlic just gets them away from you. Really? To the best of my oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, garlic if you wear a yeah, garlic, garlic doesn't necklace, kill them. It's a garlic just gets them away from you. Okay, you have so to cut his head off or a stake to the heart. Elmo's coming last, and then I'll probably fight against. Uh, but, okay, <laughs> hold on, back up. You're telling me it's a, it's still a fight that Jay. It's still a fight to the death. What's the first option again? Oh, swallow fifteen raw eggs. Yeah, no, fuck that. You might I will murder you're, five you're less, muppets. Do you think you're less likely to die? with fighting Sesame Street characters or 15 raw eggs. I think I'm less likely to die with the 15. Sam and L is a motherfucker. That's, f- f- oh yeah, 15. If you're eating 15, 15, 15 a lot. 15 is a lot. That's a lot. Five is already a lot. Yeah. Yeah. One is too much. One's I saw Rocky much. do it one time and I was like, I never want to do that again in my life. No, I could never do that. I am not really an egg person to begin with anyway. Oh, I love eggs. I need not eggs. The, not raw. Covered up in like, Copious amounts of seasoning and hot sauce. Yeah, no, I get cheese, it. Cheese, all yeah, that kind of shit. Definitely. Um, yeah, the five five Sesame Street characters. Mm. That's a no brainer. I I agree with you. I just don't want to like. I don't know. That's the thought of like snapping Elmo's neck. Just it just it messes with me. Yeah, but I got to. <laughs> you got to, dude. I can't because you said like I forgot about Salmonella. I'm thinking it's just like. Raw food, but no salmonella. Salmonella will kill is, you. Yeah, salmonella can kill. Salmonella poisoning is real. And besides, I'd rather die at the hands of like Bert and Ernie yeah. than die at my own hand because yeah. I ate 15 raw eggs. Yeah, you're right. What? And that's a good question. How would you rather people know you died? Would you rather say, yo, Big Bird came out of nowhere? Yeah. Or would you say, yo, he was eating 15 raw eggs? Yeah, he was just trying to I'd, prove something to himself. I would rather die. I would rather die a champion. And then just try, I snapped, I killed, I killed Cookie Monster and Elmo first. Then Big Bird just came out of nowhere. And Big Bird and came a, out of nowhere. That's a better story. That's a much better story. That is a better story. Yeah. Okay. Would you rather live in a house made of bounce house material or have to wake up every morning by having an iced bucket of water dumped on you? Oh, d- oh this is tough. This actually is a tough one. I don't, um, think, it, I don't think it's that tough okay i have questions yes okay the bounce house material Mm -hmm. is it just like the structural elements of the house or is it every is like the furniture the Mm. the bathtub or shower is all of that the toilet if i have to take a shit on a bouncy toilet no it's bounce bounce house material in the sense of the floors the walls and the windows are, are that mesh bounce house and window. The, the windows are fine. Yeah, the windows are the mesh bounce house okay. window. The floors and the walls. 
right? You can have furniture, but the floors are still bounce house, like bouncy. Gotcha. Right. Okay. And then, yeah, you can have a bed, but it's on a bounce housey material that doesn't like deflate. Right. Um, okay. And then for the ice bucket, if I'm yes. woken up every morning with an ice bucket being dumped on my head, yeah. do I, is, is the situation after the fact cleaning up, do I have to handle the cleanup yeah. and like drying no, everything? This isn't, this isn't, it's not magic. Mm. Yeah. No, that's an ice bucket, an ice bucket on your head. You're in your bed. How big of a bucket are we talking? Regular bucket. A regular, regular size, size bucket. bucket. Not can't, a, I can't do nothing, like a tiny bucket. No, not a too small. Like a gift yeah, bucket. No, not one of those party favorite buckets at weddings. No, thank you. <laughs> we mean an actual bucket. Like you're going to Home Depot and you say I to the, the guy, five gallon bucket. I need a bucket. Yeah. And he says the buckets are right there. That's the one. And that's the one. That's the bucket. It's Ice got bu- the little guy on it. Yes. Ice bucket. Bounce house material. Really? Yeah. I'm living in a house with bounce house material. Jay, how will you sleep though? I'm going to get the heaviest possible bed. Oh. Yeah, you're right. Damn. The problem That's is I'm, smart. I'm not going to be able to decorate my bedroom very well because as you know, when you have a fat guy in a bounce house, yes. everything just falls to that yeah. corner of the room. Exactly. What I got to hope for is I can get an interior designer in here who can help me distribute all of the weight of the yeah. furniture properly. Yes. Because that's really what it's all about. That's true. That's true. But like, okay, I think the bounce house would be fun for a week. You're bouncing around only a week. Sure. Because if you think, if I'm thinking about it now, when I was younger, man, I wanted like my own personal bounce oh, house. Oh, who didn't? But I when you're at too. the party and they have a bounce house, you're in there, you're having fun. Eventually you're like, ah, okay, I'm good. See, this is where you're being too short-sighted. I've bounced enough. You got to think long term. Okay. You got to think long term. Hey, how do I live in a bounce house? How do I exist every day in a bounce house? I don't think I can exist every day in a bounce house. I think you can if you design the house right. If you design Mm -hmm. your living space correct. Yes. You could do it. Like I see looking at the way you live, I can see why you would hate living in a bounce house. Yes. I hate it. You would hate it. I I feel like I could live minimally and still have a bounce house. I don't have a lot of stuff in. in this in this apartment, though. No, but you wouldn't be able to, like, you have cool art on your wall. Oh, yeah, you're you right. have cool shit hanging I up. Can't do, I can't, can't do any. up stuff. No, you can't. No. But, yes, you can if you get, like, those, if you can't use nails, but you can use the little sticky things. But it's still going to fall off. Oh, yeah, you're, you're right. You're going to send shocks. Anytime you walk over to yeah, your wall, you're right. this painting's going to fall off. Yeah, that's fair. Command strips don't work after too long if you yeah, shake them enough. That's fair. Yeah. That's true. Damn. You're not even going to consider the ice bucket. I will not. If I have to clean that shit up every morning, if I have to spend, because that's going to add an hour on. Oh, my yeah, you're right. Least. I'm just, I'm thinking, I don't know why I'm thinking I'm the only thing that's going to be wet. No, it's my bed. It's my floor. Mm-hmm. It's like the surrounding areas. Whoever's in bed with me, she's going to hate it. Yeah, <laughs> that's going to be, if she, unless the only thing that happens if she, is if my girlfriend is the one dumping the bucket on me mm. and it's not just some random person. Nope. It's, it's a magic bucket. Yeah. It's pouring on you. It's not, See, that's it's not, not going to work person. then. That's too much extra prep. Yeah. You're in right. Going to bed and waking up every day. That's adding yeah. at least two hours of bullshit on get, my day that I don't have, have to, to deal get, with. You're going to have to get like a plastic cover for your mattress. You can mm-hmm. have regular sheets, but under that, it's just going to be, have to be a plastic. Well, cover. Why would I even get it's regular like, sheets? I have to throw oh, the yeah. sheets in the dryer. I don't want to change every my morning. sheets every fucking morning. Every morning. I don't want to have to get, can you imagine how gross your pillow is going to get? Oh, if you no. keep doing that, I know. It's not going to work. Damn. I would much rather yeah, also. I, live in the, I never, honestly, this question has come up at least three other times. And I always pick the ice bucket. Why? Can you imagine how good because your calves I'm, I'm are going to look if I you live never, in a bounce house? Yeah, you're right. All of the bouncing you're it's doing natural, at all times. It's, not, it's a perfect cardio and great leg workout. I, I pick the ice bucket because in my mind, I never thought I could just... If I design the space correctly, mm-hmm. it'll be fine. Yeah. I'm thinking I can't have furniture, but you're right. If you just put, if you just make sure the distribution of weight is, is there. Exactly. And then I just also can't have can any, figure it out. I can't ever invite fat people over to my house. No, I can't. 
No. Because they're going to fuck up my whole Listen, living arrangement. There's going to be a BMI scale at the door. Yes. You're yeah. going to have, I'm going to have it's the not calipers. Just fat, I'm going to measure It's your not just weight. fat people. They're like, no oh, one's super too muscular tall. people, Muscul- too tall people. Yeah. Your BMI had to be checked like for real, for real. Mm-hmm. Wow. Like it, it's, it, it is what it is. And that means I just have to go do stuff out of the house more, which is fine. Yeah. Like I can handle not having a computer set up. Honestly, the, ter- the trickiest thing is going to be not cooking. Because mm. that shit's gonna catch on fire. No, it's just plastic. It plastic. Depends, melts. It depends on what you cook. It depends on what you cook. I'm cooking everything in a microwave all the time. Basically, no. you'd have to cook everything in a microwave all the time. I can deal with. Listen, I'm gonna have a, a good enough job. We'll in cook this cook outdoors. Scenario. Yeah, I'll cook outdoors. Have a grill. I'll get a grill. You can get a grill. Yeah. Right. I'll I would a get a grill. Yeah, and grill everything. Right. You can be one of those. There, there are so many YouTube videos of guys who just like have like open fire cooking. Yeah. Right. I would love to have a fire pit. Do that. This is, do that. I don't know why you keep picking ice bucket. Over I this. kept picking. I'm not going to lie. I literally kept picking ice bucket because I'm like, I think I could manage that. And plus I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, I'll wake up. Uh huh. If I ever need, it says I want, when I wake up, here's what happens. I get up. <laughs> Turn off my alarm. I get right back into bed. And my alarm is such a way where I have to get up to go turn it off Mm -hmm. because I don't want it to. I don't want to ever just roll over and hit it and then go back to bed. See, if you're that way, you're going to adapt to where the ice bucket being dumped on you is not going to phase you. Like you'll wake up, you'll be pissed off and I'll be be like, fuck. And you'll just lie back down in your wet stuff. Oh, wow. You will. Yeah, you're right. If I'm like, if I am like that, if you like that already, it's going to work. It's the same thing as a bouncy house. Yeah. You're going to live like that for a week where it gets you out of bed. Yeah. And you're like, cool, I'm, I'm good to go. I'll, okay. I'll clean up my shit and it's going to be fine. But after a week, you're going to go right back to, okay, do I really need to get up right now? Uh, okay, fine. I'm just going to wait. Yeah, you're right. You're just going to sit there. I can mop later. I'm going to say that. Yeah. I'm going to say some stupid stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Damn it. And you're going to get a mildewy ass pillow. Yeah. And your bed That's is going to be horrible. Why would you do that to yourself? Okay. Okay. Would you rather only use technology from the 18th century, right? Like steam engines and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Or alternate between being a goat and a human every other year. So in 2021, <laughs> you're a human. In 2022, you're a goat. Oh, and man. And so on. Oh, boy. Oh, that's tough. Okay. 18th century technology, I will run into, I will die. You will? I will not, 18th century, not 19th century. 19th century at least had, this is steam engines. These, this is open fire cooking, like for real, for real. I can cook on an open fire. That's fine. Oh, oh, you, here's a question. Yes. If I am a goat, do I become, <laughs> do I do, do the, do the goats I hang out with? Okay. Obviously, they're going to die faster than the humans I'm hanging out with. Yes. But do I at least get to develop relationships with these goats over time? I don't know how goats communicate. And hang out with the same pack of goats. However goats communicate, well, the same pack of goats. Well, you know, over after whenever they, they, they're going to die off at some point. Yeah. And probably, I don't know how long a goat's lifespan is. No, 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 no. Jay, I'm going to explain it, the situation. Okay, explain the situation to me. In 2021, you're a human. Uh Uh-huh. And in 2022, you're a goat. Okay. You're still Jay. You're just a goat now. Right. So So you still live in the same apartment. You're just a goat. So, okay. I think, wait, do you think you're like getting transferred into a different dimension with goats? No, no, no. I don't think I'm getting transferred into a different goat dimension. Like, I'm still on Earth. but. Clearly, this is a situation where it's like the we're not remembering name things. Yes. People know that I'm going to turn into a goat, right? Mm. Whoever I'm living with knows I'm going to be a goat. Yeah. So, so they're going to put you with other goats. Are they going to put me with the other goats? And yeah. do I get to choose these other goats? Or you, are they yeah, chosen for me? If, if you know you're about to be a goat, you can make plans. Yeah. I can yeah. make goat plans. You can make goat plans. Okay. If you know. That's like saying, this, uh, this sound, I don't know how else to explain it. It's like if you're a terminally ill patient, you can make arrangements for like where things, what, what's going to sure. happen to your money, yeah. what's going to do this, what's going to do that, right? Uh-huh. But if they just change, but if people change their minds, you got a year to get them back because, I mean, you're going to be a goat. I mean, I got to trust these people. I got to trust, trust the people, people who are having you have my to goat trust these back. People. Yeah. Um, what's the first option again? 18th century technology. Gosh. Steam engines. See, and it's just you. 
It's not the world. As much as I say that I like could handle, I was like, oh, I don't like my phone. I don't like the internet, yeah. all that stuff. I, yeah. Oh I, fuck! I forgot the internet. The internet. Yeah, dude. I forgot about the internet. I couldn't. I couldn't give up the internet. 18th century. I couldn't drive a He's, car. Honestly, if we lived in like New York, uh-huh. I'd be like, okay, I can figure that out because I can walk. Yes. I can read a map. Not in LA. Bro. No. Well, here's, yeah. In New York. Yeah. Cause you can't take the subways. Can't take the subway. You can't take a taxi. Yeah. All you can do is the horse drawn carriages. Yeah. Which is fine. I could. In New with York. That. That's fine. In New York. That's fine. LA. I can't right? do that. Cops in New York are on horses all the time. Mm-hmm. LA. Where are you going? How are you going? How are you going to survive? Really? You could only live in Compton and be a Compton cowboy. Basically. That's the only life yeah. you lead. Yeah. You'd have to. Well, okay. Use eight and ten. You can go to, you can still go to the grocery store. Of course. You sure. can still like do, you can still live your life, but, but I have to take the person, horse to the grocery store. You'd have store. to take the horse to the grocery store. I have to take store. one of those big, big wheel, little wheel, penny farthing bikes yeah. to a grocery store. Basically. No, thanks. Yeah. I'm going to go with goat. I'm going to go with switching off between being a human and a goat every year. Didn't think I was going to say that, but if I'm being honest with myself, I couldn't, I couldn't give up the internet. Yeah. I'm only picking the goat because of the internet. I just need it. I need to know what's Mm -hmm. going on in the world. If the internet went down, then I could get by on the 18th century technology. And you're, and you know what? You made a perfect point. The goat thing is something that can be explained. Yeah. With clear evidence that, Hey, look, when the clock strikes midnight, 2022, I'm going to be a goat. Right. Right. If people are like, what does that mean? You can not believe me all you want, but I'm going to be a goat. The (laughs) evidence is going to be shown. You'll see. Watch at midnight. I'm going to turn into a goat. You can go on Instagram live. You can like someone can help you out with that. But you know what? I can't, I can't do that if I'm in 18th century technology because Instagram live doesn't exist. Yeah, it does. You just can't use it. I can't use it. Damn. How you gonna? How am I gonna know the new TikTok dances if I'm using 18th century technology? It's not gonna work. I don't know. I can't live that life, guys. Now it is time for our final choice. It is a Mary fuck kill. J Light. Yes. Your three choices are Beyonce, Forever and Always. We will have. Let me think. We were we were talking about cooking earlier, so we'll do we'll do Martha Stewart. Okay. OG cooker extraordinaire. Yeah. And we will do, do you know who Julia Child is? Yeah, I know who Julia Child and is. Julia Child. Both in their prime. Okay. Mary fuck kill, Jay. What Mary fuck kill. I mean, I'm marrying Beyonce. Okay. That one's the easy one. Okay. I will probably, oof. See, I don't want to, this is in their prime. Yes. I can't kill, in, in, in good conscience, I can't kill Julia Child. I have to fuck Julia Child, which is because sh- Julia Child is not the most attractive woman, no. even in her prime. But she's still the revolutionary, right? Julia Child. Like, if I, I want to say she was Julia the first. Child, one, was she the first TV? Uh, one of the first, cook? yeah, yeah. And she was one of the first popular cookbook authors. You know, the yeah. joy of, without Julia Child, we didn't have the joy of cooking. Mm. And I can't take that. You know, someone's going to come in and fill that void, but I can't imagine a world without Julia Child in it. So I'm, I'm yeah. going to fuck Julia Child. You're going to kill Martha. I'll kill Martha Stewart. Damn, Snoop Dogg's going to be very upset with you. Is he? Or will he have even met her? Because this is in her prime. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh. Oh, yeah, you're right. This yeah. is when Martha had the CBS show. Yeah, dude. Okay, fair. This is when it was a good... This is That's before fair. insider trading. This is before she went to jail. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I would totally I would totally kill Martha Stewart before she went to jail. Yeah, you're right. I didn't like Martha Stewart before she went to jail. No, but she was a joke before she went to jail. Everybody yeah. made, made fun of her. Now she's cool. Now she's cool. Because she went to jail. Yeah. She I, went to jail and she did that roast. And that was the only things about yeah. Martha Stewart that were like, oh yeah, Martha Stewart's cool. Okay. Gr- yeah. Great. Martha Stewart can read other jokes that other people yeah, wrote for her. Basically. Yeah. That's the only thing she sure, was Sure. Martha Stewart knows how to read Tony Hinchcliffe material. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I can. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. Very funny. All right. All right. Well, I don't know if you know this, Jay, but we had something we said in the beginning of the year for all of 2021, no matter what, Beyonce uh, will die. Really? Um, so Beyonce dies. Uh, Damn. she's lived her life. She's the, one of the greatest entertainers is, of yeah. all time. There's nothing else for her to do in this world. So who gets married? I will, you know what? I will marry Martha Stewart only because yes, there would be no Martha Stewart without Julia Child, but Martha Stewart, I think had more money 
than Julia Child when Julia Child was in her prime. Martha Stewart had like a network show. Julia Child, to the best of my knowledge, I don't know what show she was on, like PBS or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, I think she was PBS. Yeah. But okay. So if this is the choice, we're still going within their primes. Yes. Ah, this is tough. See, you make a great point about the money thing. Um, with with marrying Martha Stewart, but also I'm I'm with can all. Can I pick sp- a time frame to 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 switch this up to? It doesn't have to be in their prime. Okay. Okay. I will, no one's ever asked that question. I'm gonna it, fuck yeah. Martha Stewart now. Okay. And I will still marry Julia Child in her prime, or it, just I'll like, marry Julia Child in her prime, and then fuck and Martha then, Stewart, and now. then I'll can, I'll carry out with Martha mm. with uh, with Julia Child as her yes. career goes on. Yes. I don't really give a shit about the money. Yeah. But. I would totally fuck Martha Stewart now because I feel like Martha Stewart now is a freak. Yeah. She went to jail. She learned some things. She went to jail. She does a show with Snoop Dogg now. She's yeah. smoking weed. She's doing roasts. Okay. She's Oh, no. Wild. You didn't have to kill Beyonce. Beyonce's dead. <laughs> You're still killing Beyonce. I'm not. I'm beyond. Listen, I, I, if this is the situation. Yes. Then, oh, no. You didn't have to kill Beyonce. We're saying for me, I'm killing Beyonce. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're saying this? I'm saying I'm killing, for my choices, oh, Beyonce well, I dies. Oh, I confused. Yeah, yeah, no. You don't have to kill Beyonce. Oh, I don't want to kill yeah, Beyonce. Yeah, we don't have to come to a consensus on this. I don't want to kill Beyonce. Okay, because you just... But if I can, the, but I will by say... By the way, the face you just made was like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Beyonce's a treasure. Um, I would, yeah, if I could pick a time, I'll still, I'm still going to marry Beyonce. Oh, God. I guess, cause here's what I'll do. If okay. I have to, th- this is my, this is second choice. Okay. I will, I will fuck Martha Stewart, but I'll fuck Martha Stewart now. Okay. Cause I feel like she is in a new era of her prime. She's more relaxed. She's she more doesn't relaxed. care anymore. She's at yeah. that age where she's not trying to put on a facade. Exactly. Right. She's Martha Stewart is at that age where it's like, I've made my money. Mm-hmm. I'm good. Yeah. I have an account executive. I have an investment banker. You guys make more money with my money that I already have and mm-hmm. then give me money to play with. Yeah. And that just seems like where she is. That's exactly where she is. And right? that, that means she's going to be more of a freak, more of a freak, more of a freak. You're right. Cause once you, once you don't care, then everything opens up. Yeah. The world opens up to you. <sighs> I and don't those like, legs open up to I you. Don't you know I don't like, like hold on one second. <laughs> oh, Hey-o. hell yes. I don't like French cooking. Yeah, but Julia Child isn't just a French. I know, cook. but I just don't like it. You're right. French cooking is is so good. Maybe I need to go to a better French. I've only been to one. Which one? I forgot the name. You gotta go. You live in the valley. Like you lunch. gotta go to Petit Trois. Petit Trois. Petit Trois. Okay. It's it's on um, the one that's out here is in Sherman Oaks. There's another okay. one in Hollywood. Okay. But yeah, Ludo Lefebvre, amazing French cooking, fantastic. I'll try it. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah. Petit toi. Petit toi. All right. It's very All good. right. Okay. Oh, wait. Okay. So Beyonce dies. I will, I will, I'll understand. I will fuck Martha Stewart now and then I'll marry Julia Child. Yes. Right. And then she can teach me stuff, I guess. Julia Child is, is still like, it's, you're, you're going to be getting still it good nice. there. Yeah. Because then the nice thing is eventually Stanley Tucci will play you in a movie. Mm. I think. I think that's, that's what good. happened in Julie and Julia. In blackface. Yes. Probably. Yeah. And it'll be fine. Stanley Tucci would he's pull still, off blackface. He's still a good actor. He's still a he's good still actor. He's still a good actor. He's like, that's he's fair. one of probably five white actors who could do blackface and everything would be okay. I can agree with that. Yeah. I can, I can be behind that. It's a small, it's a I very mean, short listen, list. Listen, Stanley, don't just be doing that. But <laughs> if you need to do it, I'm not going to, I'm not going to make a YouTube video about it. If there's a white actor who you want to see do blackface. Is Stanley Tucci your number one or is there somebody higher up on the list for you? Right now that I'm thinking about it. Right now. I would say, I would put Stanley Tucci as number one. Okay. Only because he's such a good actor. Like I wouldn't want De Niro to do it. No, I'm like, De Niro would And he had a black hacky. wife and I still wouldn't want him to do it. It wouldn't be right. Exactly. Same with like Pacino. You couldn't no. have Al Pacino doing blackface. No, Absolutely not. It'd be weird. Right, it needs someone like Stanley. I would love and uh, R.I.P. But I would love to see Philip Seymour Hoffman do blackface. He would kill it. He would kill it. He would. Kill he would it. be so great. He would be so good. Imagine if instead of Forrest Whitaker playing Idi Amin, if it was Philip oh. Seymour Hoffman in blackface. Yeah. Damn. Game changed. Game change. Game changed. Guys, that is our episode. <laughs> this has been Tough Choice with Kazim Iman. You can find me online at Kazim Comedy. That's K A Z E E. 
M Comedy. Jay, where can we find you? You can blah, blah, blah. I gotta say that one again. You can find me at Diet J on Twitter and Instagram, jlightcomedy.com for show dates. And uh, I got my album, my podcast, oh. and all that stuff is up there as well. So go yeah. check that and out. And I will put all of that in the show notes. And if you have a tough choice question or a Mary Fuck Kill you want us to consider, email tough choice at outlook.com. That is tough choice at outlook.com. This has been Kazir I don't know. This has been. <laughs> No, this has been tough choice because in your mind, this has been still Kazim Ramon. Yeah, this is still Kazim Ramon and Jay Light. You guys have been amazing. Bye.